Hello students. Now we will discuss one case study problem. Before learning, uh, knowing the situation of the case study, we will have a glance on the given hint. Here they have given the law of reflection states that when a ray of light reflects off a surface, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. In the angle of incidence, if or a surface, let us take the surface as mirror. Okay, so a ray is just hitting that mirror. When it hits the mirror, it will make angle of incidence. This is called incident ray. And you will calculate the angle of incidence with the help of a perpendicular line. The angle between a perpendicular and the incident ray will be the angle of incidence. So we can represent it this as denote it as I. And when the after hitting the surface, it is getting reflected. So this is called reflected ray. And again, you will calculate the angle of reflection with respect to the perpendicular. These uh, definitions are based of based on law of reflections. Okay, so it is getting reflected. So again, it will make a particular angle with a perpendicular. So this angle is known as angle of reflection. So according to the law of reflection, angle of incident ray is equal to angle of reflection. So this is the thing they have given in the uh, note part. Okay, now we will move on to this case case study problem what are they saying Ramesh places a mirror on level ground to determine the height of a pole so here you will take the height of the pole is nothing but height of the traffic light with traffic light fixed uh, with the traffic light fired on it okay he stands at a certain distance so that he can see the top of the pole reflected from the mirror okay so he has placed a mirror on the floor so let us take this is a mirror okay so i'm just uh, naming the mirror as x here i have labeled the mirror as x and now this is the height of the pole so ab is pole height of the uh, traffic uh, light okay traffic uh, pole and uh, CD is the height of Ramesh. So, height of Ramesh. CD represents height of Ramesh. Okay. So, what do we need to do? The pole. Okay. Ramesh's eye level is 1.5 cm. Which means they have given us the height of Ramesh. That is 1.5 meter. So, height of this object is 1.5 meter. Above the ground. The distance of Ramesh and the pole from the mirror are so the distance of Ramesh the here we have Ramesh and here the foot of the pole okay are 1.8 meter this is the distance between the mirror and Ramesh foot is 1.8 meter and the, and the traffic light is 6 meters okay so now we are taking we are trying to see two triangles especially two similar triangles in this case so with that basic idea we can find out the unknown values okay so ab represents height of the pole and the distance between the foot of the uh, traffic uh, traffic light and uh, the mirror which has been placed on floor is 6 meters and the distance between Ramesh foot and uh, the mirror is 1.8 meter and height of Ramesh is 1.5 meter okay and we need to know this AB length X okay we'll take it as AB itself okay so AB and here we have the mirror and again here Ramesh is standing Okay, so we have to take these two as similar triangles. So, we have to have know the particular criteria based on which we will state these two as, um, we will say these two as um, similar triangles. So, as I said already by law of reflection, we will calculate um, law of yeah, angle of incidence and angle of uh, 
reflection with the help of a perpendicular so this is a perpendicular we are drawing and as i said already this is the angle of incident uh, ray and this is the angle of reflected ray so we know alternate interior angles are equal so if you assume this ab and uh, this x some other ray xy these two as per parallel lines because these two are being perpendicular to the floor and those two will be parallel to each other and this ax can be treated as transversal if this i is in the angle of incident means this i value is equal to this a so we can state b a x angle equal to similarly angle of reflection is r and again this cd ramesh cd this line perpendicular line and xy line both are perpendicular to the surface level so again this r angle and this c angle are perpen or uh, alternate interior angles those two will be equal so angle x okay we can say dcx okay d c x r equal and also we know this ab is perpendicular to the ground and this cd is also perpendicular to the ground so we can say angle a b x equal to angle c d x so in a two triangles two corresponding angles are equal then the third angle will be will be equal so we know double a a uh, similarity criterion yes so automatically this angle will be equal so we have proved these two a angle and c angle equal and this b and d are equal which implies this angle and these two angles are equal isn't it now these two triangles i will state the triangles which are similar triangle abx similar to triangle cdx okay these two are similar based on the criterion double a similarity criterion so we are done with the first question now we'll move on to the second one here in the second one they are asking for the height of the pole so height of the pole means ab represents the height of the pole which means we are taking the traffic light as pole okay since the two triangles abx and cdx are similar we know the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides will be in proportion so based on that we can say ab by cd bx by dx xa by xd xc so ab is what we required and in question it was given cd as 1.5 and bx is 6 and D, dx is 1.8 so ab equal to 6 by 1.8 and we are just taking transposing this to right hand side as a result we are getting like this now 6 by 1 1.5 into 1.8 when we multiply and divide it by 10 we will get 6 into 15 by 18 so 5 threes are 15 6 threes are 18 6 6, 6 gets cancelled so will remain with 5 so 5 meter so height of the traffic jump pole is, traffic pole is pole is, is 5 meter so option c will be the correct one now moving on to third question if an angle of incident a, incidence is i which of the following is correct relation we know tan i tan i represents tan angle is opposite by adjacent yes so here in this one we have taken this i okay this i tai this i is out of picture don't consider this okay this angle of incident ray is same as this angle a so tan i tan i angle is opposite by adjacent we have found ab as 5 meter so 6 by 5 tan i is tan i is 6 by 5 so option b will be the correct one so what is the distance between mirror and ramesh it is obvious we are given the base dif the base distance i mean the foot of uh, ramesh and the mirror the distance between foot of ramesh and the mirror is given already as 1.8 okay but 
it is understood that they are not asking the distance between foot of mirror a uh, foot of uh, ramesh and uh, for and the mirror so we have to find out the other two distance i mean the other two unknown values here so what is the distance between mirror and ramesh in this case they are asking for this cx length okay cx length as we know the two triangles are similar corresponding sides are in proportion yes sir. so corresponding sides are in proportion so we have ab by cd yes ab is ab is 5 meter we have calculated already cd is 1.5 which is equal to xa which is equal to bx bx length is 6 by dx is 1.8 and so these are representing um, 5 by 1.5 multiply divided by 10 50 by 15 10 times of 5 3 times so 10 by 3 is the ratio okay so xa by xc so this xc is what the distance between uh, mirror and ramesh okay so that is 3 units 3 meters so option b will be the correct answer what is the distance between mirror and pole which means again here what are they asking for they are asking for the mirror and top of the pole that is xa value so xa value is 10 we found it already so option d will be there thank you bye